should I go to bed? Hello and welcome to Wildflowers. It is a Thursday and today we should be able to buy the incantation recipe to help Angus. I hope we'll be able to craft it straight away so that we'll get to see the conclusion of that today. Let's see about the... Hold on. Do we have any silk thread? No, we don't. Because we needed one more silk fabric. For, uh... Gloria, was it? I think it was. Well, we'll just have to wait. Um, carrots and um, maybe more potatoes. We can always use the uh, better quality um, Miracle Grow potion on those if we need to. Speedy. Oh, I meant to actually talk to Layla. Hello, Layla. Pancho. Lady and Luna. Buttercup. And Matilda. Cleocatra. Oh, such a good cat. Meow. Aw, still loving that, aren't ya? Uh, Natalia. Hi. It's almost time to make paisanki. In the spring, Ukrainians decorate eggs with beeswax, then dip them in dye. I loved making paisanki so much as a little girl. That's how I learned that I was good at working with my hands. Aww. That was a nice little story. Zephyr? Oh, I can't wait to balance brooms for Sebastian and Juliet. They'll be so cute whizzing around. <laughs> hmm, I still have one broom left to unlock. Wonder what that's all about. Wesley? The other day, Cameron asked me to teach him how to make salmon broth soup. I said, why not? He's done a real 180 on the Book of the Mind. Uh-huh. There it is. And yeah, Cameron is learning to think for himself a little more. Centuries ago, humans used to come to me during spring and request love potions. And did you grant their requests? Of course not. You cannot make someone fall in love with you through potions alone. I know 
we don't really need all that big of a stock of these things anymore. But I just, um, I like to have plenty. So I don't need to worry about not having enough. A pack of tanukis came through Ravenwood Hollow the other day. They have the cleverest little eyes and hands. Why are humans the dominant species, hmm? Why can't we live alongside badger dogs instead? I guess that's because of the human nature. You know, arrogance, lust for power, speciesism, stuff like that. We humans, as a species, are not the uh, kind to naturally respect other species. Hmm. Oh, I think I see something. Chicken and rice. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I think I see something. Plan. And that last hmm. one. Oh, I think I see something. Arrows con gandules. Let's go find Angus and um, yeah, let's go find Angus. For a while there I thought that one of the whirly gigs had run out of power, but apparently not. Just fishy. I've been carrying around the brooch. It's kind of creeping me out. Can we go work your magic? Yes, let's go to the woods now. Uh, the woods? Mm. Just promise you won't stray far, okay? Okay. I need you to hold up the brooch. Repeat after me. Spirit of Ufami, accept this sacrifice as an offering and atonement for the sins of my forefather. Uh, Spirit of Ufami. <gasps> Effie. Angus, are you... Are you alright? Effie. I did not mean for them to put you in the fires. I thought you'd be locked in the jail for a time. And once I had your land, you'd be set free. But then the king got word, you see. He blamed you and the others for the storm that set upon his ship. He had to have his revenge, Effie. Forgive me. Forgive me. What happened? Angus, are you all right? Yes. I feel... Uh, great. She's gone. She's, she's let me go. Oh, thank you, Tara. Oh, thank you so much. All right. The Book of the Mind says we should all meditate regularly. But see, I could never really meditate before. I was always afraid the ghost would come for me. No matter what I was doing, a tiny part of me was alert, watching. And now... A part of me can chill out for once. So I can meditate and get a good night's sleep and maybe even watch a scary movie. Whoa, now, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Hmm, this looks good, thanks. Sometimes I consider taking up an actual book club, but then I think to myself, when would I have the time? Ah, uh -huh. was the, uh... Mmm, I love apple cider. Was the book club thing your cover for the coven meetings? 
Terra, there's something I've been meaning to say to you. I'm so very sorry about your grand. I knew her death was coming, but it still hurt. Hazel and Marcus were the only people I could talk to about where I came from. Sometimes I wish so hard they were still here that I forget they're even gone. You can talk to me. I know I haven't been here as long, but I'll always listen. I think, I think I will tell you. Just a bit. I was born in Hungary. Ooh, I know. I don't sound like it. <laughs> Spent most of my time on these shores after my parents passed. I'm sorry to hear about your parents. They knew it was coming. They were, uh, I am Romani. No one read cards better than my ma. But that's a story for another time. <laughs> I think my, uh, Sharing gears are rusty. <laughs> can... Can that happen? Practice makes perfect. And this kind of practice might even be good for you. Huh. We'll see about that. Thank you, Tara. You got all the best parts of your grand. I have a lot to learn about witchcraft, but... Not to toot my own horn. I know how to be a good friend. That you do. That you do. No. A lot of uh, sweet events today. Well, two. But, um, <laughs> very powerful two events. Is that heavenly aroma fish stew? Why, thank you! Okay, so I guess it wasn't a quest or shall be. It was just the uh, best friend event. Marty? Ah! There we go. Oh, I've already gotten a hundred more followers on my social account since I moved here. Wow, that's... that's great, great? Mm-hmm. People love photos of the authentic country life. But let me tell you, these chickens do not cooperate when I'm trying to compose a shot. Well, maybe you could train them. And who is this stranger who is gracing me with her presence? Is this... My wife? Cut it out, Parker. <laughs> Come on, Lena, I'm just teasing. You work too hard. The shop, the kids, visiting your dad in Milkwater. At least you should take time to hang out with your friends like this lovely lady. Am I right, Tara? I think you might have a point, Parker. But Lena has to find a balance in her life that works for her. Look, I know Parker is right. I just don't know how to make more time in a day to actually do the relaxing part. <sighs> You know, I wish I had more time to spend with my friends. Really, I do, Parker. But then, I really don't have that many close friends anymore. I haven't done the best job keeping up with people. I am glad you moved back, Tara. It's been so nice rekindling our old friendship. No. Parker? I know Sebastian still communicates with Antonio, but... He could probably use a present father figure, too. Becoming a young man is hard, and Gloria's got to have her hands full with mayoral duties. Hmm. Well, I think they said, or Gloria said, that they are working on it. Working on bringing Antonio here. Bruno's been stopping by the clinic a lot more often. I can sense his loneliness, so I take my time during his appointments. It's funny, she knew I would turn to sugary snacks. Wait, best friend? Huh. Hey, Tara. 
I heard you grew the flowers Thomas gave me. Thanks. They're beautiful. You're very welcome. So, did you guys have dinner? Yes. It was very nice. <laughs> I never really thought I might be ready to move on. But he doesn't seem to mind if we take things slowly. That's nice. Bruno? Seeing you and Kim fish makes my old heart happy. You're the next generation of anglers. Damon? Can't wait to get these many witches on their brooms. You can't... Kai? If you ever spot a spare coconut on the beach, I would be totally stoked. I get a little homesick sometimes. We can't give you coconuts, though. Hmm. Cameron? Gloria came to visit the Consciousness Center the other day. Really? I didn't think she was the type. Oh, no, she didn't want to climb the mountain. She told me that if I ever accused anyone else of being a malcontent, she would slap me with taxes so high I'd never leave the Valley of Disillusionment. Which... fair. <laughs> hmm. I attribute my love of all things autumn. Pumpkin bread is so yum. <laughs> Ah, oh, yes, we already talked to both of you. Uh, Kim. Give us full of surprises. I swear I get smarter every time we talk. Yeah. But see, I thought that only yesterday, Amira. Was it yesterday? The day before, Amira asked us if we could maybe have a drink sometime, or that said that she'd be happy to have a drink with us sometime. Is she with Kim now? Is that what the, uh, the, um, little scene at Kim's shop was all about? Are they an item now? Amira did have a, like, a pet name for Kim. Hmm. Maybe it's just that I'm uh, too late to have that dinner date with Amira. She's already with Kim. Well... Hi, Kiva. How did the picnic go? It was wonderful. We chatted about their favorite subjects, and I showed the students how to reflect rainbows using prisms. Oh, and they loved the puff budgie. Thank you again. You must be a mind reader. So, that's another heart event or social event that we don't get to see. We missed Vanessa's friend event and uh, then we also missed Amira's dinner date event. Well, hopefully Kai and Wesley are going to stay single until um, we get a chance to have that dinner date with them. Kai, we are going to just uh, be friends with, but um, Wesley, I think I'm going to say yes to Wesley. So, obviously, I want to have dinner with Kai first. Where is the uh, 
Is that the third? Yes, it is. I found something. A recipe. Beef Wellington. I almost didn't notice the dirt pile there because of the flowers. So, I guess we really need to focus on getting Kai to the intimate friend status with us, because that's where we need to be in order for him to ask us to dinner. The coven's come so far. It's hard to believe it's the same one I left behind. My life seems to be rife with new beginnings. Witchcraft can make any task easier. Mm -hmm. You but don't leave her that. Gazing into the future isn't the only way of seeing. Sometimes it's just as useful to see into people's hearts. You can build yourself a crystal ball in your sanctum. No one more than those around you is always wise. I mean, we knew that, but I don't I think we'd heard that. Fabio asked if he could come We've visit. We've heard that. Yeah. Let's replenish our magic. Every year we go without wraiths is a relief. Stay sharp, Tara. I was excited for Sebastian to join us, but uh -huh. I'm running out of space is just for me. All right, so I guess there is and a lot of new dialogue left. Hmm. It's a real shame that we missed our chance to have dinner with Amira. Hopefully we'll get to have dinner with Kai and then with Wesley. Although, I guess I would be fine staying single as well. But if we get the chance, I do want to see the dinner date with Kai and, uh, and marry Wesley. I see something. Chicken tikka masala. Hmm. Oh, I think I see something. Bombay burger. I had no idea that Amira would be uh, moving on with her dating life. Oh well, I guess I should have worked on a lot of my relationships. Well, um, a lot earlier in the game. Oh well, nothing I can do about that now. So, we'll, um, save the game here and, um, uh, move on to the next day, next time. Thank you so much for spending time with me here on The Mellow. It was lovely to have you. I'd like it if you'd leave me a like. And if you're not already subscribed, then please do subscribe. To conveniently keep up with my content. And to show me that you want to keep watching my videos. Remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day.
and I'll see you next time.